Look at these cute little puppies. What do you hear, Fanny? Who's at the door? Oh, now you're stretching all of a sudden. What? And you're gonna sneeze and I'm gonna smile? You were so focused on the door. Who was out there? No one? Briggy's just happy. She doesn't care about anything. Who's out there? You smell or hear something, don't you? <gasps> now it's over there? What do you hear? Nothing? Or are you just tripping? Briggy's so happy. Look how happy-go-lucky she is. She's just wagging her tail, having a good time. Oh, Fanny is happy too, you big cutie. You know, um, the other day, I was uh, just reading uh, articles about YouTube and the uh, YouTube uh, creators and stuff. And then I came across this article about uh, the controversy with PewDiePie. So if you guys don't know, PewDiePie, I believe at the time, if he's not even, if he's not it right now, at the time he was the number one most subscribed YouTube channel. He still could be right now. And uh, he's like, I don't know, 30 million subscribers, some stupid insane number. And uh, there's this report that came out in 2014 about how he made four, four million just off AdSense. So with no sponsors, no merchandising, no other brand deals or, or stuff like that. Just based off of his views, he made $4 million. And when I read that, I was like, oh shit, that's fucking tight. That the top guy in the YouTube food chain or in the YouTube industry is making hella guap. And that gives a lot of hope. And it's very inspiring to us smaller channels and even though JK Films, JK News were on our way to 2 million compared to 30 million we're still like super far away you know it's almost the same thing as like a lot of people they view us being in YouTube with 1 million subscribers like you made it it's kind of like saying um, uh, okay you're on the Los Angeles Lakers yeah but I'm a bench player PewDiePie is Kobe Bryant you know and um, oh Who's coming back? Oh, Mama Bear came hey. back. Is that what you sensed, Fanny? Fanny was looking out the door and she was so alert, like someone was coming. I was like, no one was there. She didn't bark though? No, but I should have believed she her. She didn't bark because she knows who it is. She knows it was friendly. You got oh. food? Did you get? No, not yet. I'm just vlogging. I'm just talking to them about stuff. So anyways, um, so yeah, so like, even though we have like a million subscribers, that's like being a bench player on the Lakers and PewDiePie, he's like Kobe Bryant. And so Kobe Bryant, of course, inspires the entire team to want to achieve better and probably a bunch of other players and all the other teams. So to me, that was an extremely happy thing. I'd be like, oh shit, he made four mil on just his AdSense. But then when, uh, when I was reading more about the article and other articles regarding that, a lot of his fans were actually hella pissed. Like they all got, they got so mad and like, you made four million dollars, you're a fucking sellout. I'm not gonna watch you anymore, I'm gonna unsubscribe. And that just blew my mind. I was like, wait, what? I thought you were his fans and you're his subscriber. Why would you wish negativity upon him? Like I'm a big fan of The Rock, you know? And the more movies he does, the happier I get. The more money he makes, the more kids he have, like anything that is positive in his life, it makes me happy. The last thing I want to see him is be homeless. So that kind of tripped me out. I was like, what? Like, why would you wish ill upon someone? And it was so controversial to the point where PewDiePie had to explain himself on Reddit where he goes, oh, you know what? I spend more money on charity than I do myself. This is how I spend my money. And I'm like... That's awesome and all, and, and, and you're great for, for spreading your wealth and helping out a lot of charitable organizations, but he doesn't have to explain that to anyone. You know, that's his money. What he wants to do with his money, it's only his business. It's no one else's business. If he wants to be a cool guy and adopt kids, or if he wants to donate the money, that's on him. If he wants to spend it on alcohol all day, and as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else but him, go ahead. Like, it's his 
money. It doesn't matter if you make a dollar or if you make four million or even 40 million. It's like Mayweather, for example. That fool makes a fucking shit ton of money and he makes so much money that when he flies from place to place, he doesn't even bring luggage because he thinks that he's just going to buy brand new luggage and clothes over there. And he makes his money and the only person that has a right to tell him to, what to do with his money is him. And the part that I guess bothered me the most was his, it was his fans that were the most negative. Like, usually, like, if you're a fan of someone, like, usually people that talk shit about Mayweather, they aren't his fans. It's the people that don't like him. They're probably Pacquiao fans or some other people fans, and they talk shit. But the part that, like, that, um, bothered me, or not even bothered me, but made me, like, think for a little bit, or, or took me back, was it's his very own fans that were talking shit. And I'm like, dude, that's so fucked up. You know, that's, I guess that was just something that uh, I was just thinking about. I mean, what do you guys think? How would you guys feel if like, I mean, how would you guys feel if your best friend, you know, just started succeeding, went to medical school, or if your best friend became a Grammy award winning artist and then went multi-platinum and then made millions of dollars, or if you had a, or any friend, or, or even me for that matter, if I just started doing even better and then just kept going higher and higher and higher, or if I became an astronaut or something like would you guys be like, yo, you know what? Getting into NASA, that was it. Now you want to go to the moon? Dude, that is fucked up. That's so Asian parenting. That's how Asian parents are. They put you in piano. And then when you tell them you want to be an actual professional classical pianist, they go, no, 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 no. You have to go back to the school. Yeah, let me know. That's just, that just like, you know, I don't even know the words for it. It kind of took me back a little bit. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's his fans. His fans were the ones. It's like, dude, how can his fans be so fucking spineless and just switch back and forth like that? Like, don't even call yourself a fan if you're going to turn your back on the dude. You know, like, that's crazy. Stop it. Oh, you break my neck. I'll kill you. Wait, it's, it's gonna break your neck and then you're gonna kill me? I'm gonna kill him! Who? Right here! Who, this guy? Yes! Why, what did he do? Here. I'm just sitting here. He, he dropped me in here. He did? Yes! Why do I find that hard to believe? Right? I feel like you came in here by yourself. No, he didn't! Then why does it look so comfortable? Look, you got out so easily! <gasps> How did you get out so easily? I'm pretty sure you jumped back in by yourself. What the heck? I'm pretty sure you jumped back in by yourself. I can't. I saw you get up all the way and then you fell backwards. Mm-hmm. Briggy can't catch you crazy. She doesn't have hands. This was like the over the overview for right now. I mean, once a day, sorry. Uh, yeah, and I know you were thinking about two to maybe even three times a day. Yeah. Okay, so this is just for the once a day. What are you guys talking about? Social Drugs. media. Steroids. Um, posting. Steroids. Oh, for the Barbell Brigade Instagram? Yes. Oh, cool. Is this the team right here? Yes. Fake on okay. me. Okay. Um, is there anything else, just looking at it from the macro perspective, that I should know? Mm. What do you think? 
Because then what will happen, the next conversation is going to be about like getting more into detail. How are we going to do the apparel? How are we going to do the gym shots? Yeah, so, that would be an excellent. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there's yeah. nothing else, right? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to keep it relatively simple so that way we could duplicate it. Okay. And then if we were to add more times in one day, I think we could, uh, so we have like, say we have a set template, we can shift the template yeah. uh, for the second post and we can even shift it for the third. So they just kind of like overlay into one another, if that makes sense. Uh, I think it does. But yeah, it, it makes sense. Okay, so this is just for Instagram. Are you guys doing anything with like Twitter? Or All right, seems like I'm bothering them. Seems like I'm bothering them, so I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come over here to see what these guys are doing. What are you guys doing over here? Nothing. Where are you? She's holding chopsticks. Look. For no reason? No, I dropped it. Uh oh, you need more chopsticks? No, I'm okay. They're in the kitchen. You can just grab I'm another. You use my hands. So oh yeah. <laughs> What are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing some work. Really? Yeah. What kind of work? Uh, I'm doing some coaching stuff right now. What do you coach? Uh, I do some macros, which is dieting for people. Oh, cool. Yeah, I sent you your numbers today, too. Thank you. Yeah. Is it um, like 200 fats and 800 carbs? I wish. What is it? I think it's like 86 fats. Oh, that's good. It is good for you. Fuck yeah. Because you like fats. Yes, how much carbs? If it's 86 fats, I put it like like 375 carbs. Oh fuck. Which is low. I know it is. Mm. What's the protein like? 200. Okay, and then you always go 200 over 200 anyways. What about um? You just sent me two sets of macros, right? Yeah, just in case you have a slip up day. That's the slip up day. Oh, that's the slip up day. Yeah. What's the regular days? I think it's like 64 fat and then 414 carbs and 200 protein. Is it bad if I do slip up days every day? Cause it. Equals the same calorically, so it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, slip Some up day every day. Every time. Yeah, thank you. That's good. <laughs> What's going on over here? Whoa! <laughs> I almost hit it. Eating. What are you eating? Pollo loco. Pollo loco. Mm -hmm. It's not pollo loco. It's pollo loco. It's pollo, pollo, pollo. Pollo, pollo, pollo. What do you get from Pollo Loco? Pollo. Oh, you can read that? Yeah. Pollo. El Pollo Loco. How come it's not Polo? Because it's Spanish. Oh, they're so smart, Isaac. Everybody knows that. Everybody? Dang, I must be dumb. What the hell is that mountain of fur over there? She's hiding. She's scared of Isaac. Is she? She's scared of Isaac? She still doesn't know Isaac as well as she knows me. No, I... Oh. When I was under the table, she started looking at everybody. Oh. oh she's gonna you just gotta people. keep being friendly with her and petting her gently and then she'll get used to you. She's scared easily. So over here, they're still trying to pretend like they're working. It's just another angle of uh, the Barbell Brigade social media team. And they always pretend like they're working on stuff, but... I think they're just planning what movie they want to watch. And Aaron's just here because he wants to watch the movie. Oh, funny. Funny. Funny likes being next to her dad. Big cutie pie. Hey, are you guys ready to meet? Yeah. Is everyone in the drive? Yes. All right, cool. <coughs> what is the first thing we're talking about? We were the first thing we talked about last week. Which yeah. is the Fit Expo. Yeah. Mike so here is in charge mm -hmm. of... Which is different angles. That's Mike here is in charge of planning the Fit Expo, the Los Angeles 2015 Fit Expo. Are you showing too many secrets? They can't Blur see. Oh, 16. the 2016. 2016. The 2016. <laughs> And he drew it on graph paper, and Cyril's gonna utilize technology and put it in our drive. I like your socks. I don't have socks on. No, his. They're so cute. And they're furry. Look at how fur. That's oh. disgusting. No, but I'm the, sorry. No, but the dogs are so cute. It's okay. No, no worries. I'm sorry. That's if the so dogs cool. weren't cute, they'd be Briggy. Okay, Briggy, you should just probably edit some they're more. They're cute. All right. So back to the back to your plans. Right. So I, I I narrowed it down to two probably efficient options. So the way I treat crowds 
is it's a lot like water, right? We talked about this earlier. Yeah. They'll literally fill in wherever they they get, can. Right? Yeah. So we want to like we want to kind of control the flow. I mm -hmm. think in the best way possible to get them in to either buy merch and out, or in and then go take a photo and then out, right? Um, so we have two options for the dev platform. Lou is saying that this one probably looks the best. So we're on an end cap. So this is everyone kind of like going around us or whatnot. Good snack Where's the entrance with. at this point? So oh, it's top know. secret now. I have to turn it off. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So then you'll come through, right? See, uh, so the two deadlift platforms. You're gonna have to go to the LA Fit Expo 2016. Competing head to head. To see what's so going on. Selling the stuff. Was and that changed every hour? Yeah. So, oh, okay. so, so the three people, yeah, the three people changing the the three people selling the clothes. Uh, there was one person, two people changing weight, one person kind of like just controlling everything. Yeah. Yeah, and then those people, would, we would so just rotate. You should rotate. let Ro Ren know that, that yeah. she needs okay. to cycle well, people like once an hour. Okay. I did three step on deadlift with one floater and then yeah. three step on apparel with one floater. Oh, okay. I'm emphasizing the fact that they need to be replaced. Yeah. yeah. they're going to get tired. So, yeah, and then we'll have one person just making sure that everyone gets a break. Or well, probably, look, it's probably going to be her. She's just going to be like Overwatch and yeah. they're just like, you look beat, cycle out. Yeah, but let's focus on doing it once an hour. Perfect. And on people's strengths, because I know last year, like there, there were people that weren't, that weren't scheduled for the, the table, uh -huh. that went over, and the, I guess, effectiveness of them being in that position, changed that side. Yeah, efficiency wasn't um, tip top. Just, just their style wasn't mm -hmm. the same as the uh, the initial starting flow. Cool. So it kind of dropped off on one side, and then got a little better on the others. Yeah, the thing we were thinking about literally pulling everyone. We assumed Shiro would be taking photos and then cycling through, kind of doing both. Uh, how does that sound for you? Are you okay with that? Uh, so like maybe take like a X amount of time to shoot some photos of the deadlift, photos of people buying merch, yeah, doing I stuff mean, like that. Last time I had a lot of fun. I did the deadlift platform. Even B Choi was so, jumping in. Yeah, right. And then, yeah. and then are we like, can we count on so B Choi's on staff? We're right? under staff. Yeah. Yeah. Filming. No. Okay. Not staff. Okay, but filming. And is he maybe filming? Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so and then I assume him and Nadim, we kind of like left off Nadeem as for really filming there. and stuff like that. Nadim for filming. Yeah. Okay, cool. So no beach boy for now. I mean, unless he wants to volunteer, okay. but in terms of staff, no. Okay, because that also leaves. So that's um, Sarah, me, right, Lou, <laughs> and then we have Joe, David, and then we're gonna leave. Hopefully by then, if they're all still, if they make it or whatnot, the three newbies to hold down the gym for Saturday and Sunday. Right. So that way we can all cycle through and we can take advantage of the weekend. Because I think that's enough people to where we can still be efficient, still rotate every hour and not get exhausted. And then it should make the day fly by. Hey, Cyril, do you know if we're gonna have two people on, on working during that weekend? During the, at the gym, Cyril? She was just saying the three new, new, new. The new Yeah, we're yeah but obviously they're not gonna be there at the same time. Because there's the morning, there's the mid, and then there's the closing shift. Yeah, so what do you mean? Yeah. What do you yeah, mean? Three. So, so we're only gonna have one person at a time, is what I'm saying. Yeah. On the at, weekend. At the gym, is that what you're yeah. 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 Oh, because we were complaining about it last year. Oh, was it? Was it? Because it was busy. Because obviously, because uh, we, we, I think Bart was the one that was mentioning last year how he was saying that, you know, like uh, we're so, we weren't giving them the experience that people most that people come to the gym for because there was only one person on staff. We get longer shifts that overlap. It's probably because of the, the, when we pass out the day passes at the Fit Expo, yeah, we, go the we get flooded, right? Yeah, that's, we, we need at least people. Well, two people. Well, that's what we were wondering if we would have Tony clothes. I think Lou's talking about the experience. Yeah. Where like, like let's say normally if there's 50 people that come to the gym on a day pass on a Saturday and Sunday, yeah. because of the free day passes, it ends up being like 100 people per day. It, yeah. it, it's crazy. So, but if we have Tony yeah. closing, then could we shift one of those people up? Yeah, to well, make it a little a bit more. You guys could do yeah, I guess we'll have to meeting. map that out. I think the thing we should focus on right now is whether we want option one or two. But that's a good thing to bring up because okay. I totally forgot about that. Um, I I like both options one and two. I kind of like them. What are you getting ready for? A Kanye West concert. <gasps> You're going to a Kanye West concert? So are you? I am. Yeah. Tiff and Casey were so kind for our wedding. They were like, these two motherfuckers work too crazy. We know we like that they like Kanye, so let's fucking do it for them because they're not going to do it for themselves because they care about us so much. That's so true. And then we're so attached to our friends that once I once we saw that they got this, that, 
I was like, then you guys have to come with us. So I forced them to buy tickets and they were like, are you sure it's okay? I'm like, hell yeah, I don't want to spend all this time with Bart. He's born. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, are you? Hell yeah. What's your favorite album? The one that we're going to see today, 808 and Heartbreaks. Ooh. That should change my life. Oh. You know, a lot of people, they actually hate on Kanye because his album sounds so different. Well, the first couple, wow. the late registration, college dropout, all those, um, they sound kind of similar. It has that sampled sound, that Pete Rock, uh, the Alchemist type of uh, sampled sound. But um, for me, I actually feel like one of the geniuses that lie in Kanye is his ability to evolve as an artist and to kill it in so many different types of genres. Whereas a lot of other artists, once they evolve or they try to dabble in another genre, they can't kill it. And so me as an artist, I can respect another artist. It would almost be the same thing as if like I start acting in dramas and that does just as well as the comedy. Or if I start acting in like Broadway shows. Yeah, like Jamie Foxx. So like for Kanye, although as a person, he's uh, kind of douchey and cocky, I still respect him greatly as an artist because I do feel like there's so much genius in his mind and with 808 and Heartbreaks at that time since it's such an electronic sound so many people talk shit about it because they feel like it's lacking soul but he used that to channel all the sorrow he had for the breakup and the death of his mom that that is actually one of his most soulful albums ever and uh, Kanye's just a soulful motherfucker he even calls his beats soul beats and he calls it superhero music. Like when you listen to his music, you feel empowered and there's like this uh, in it. And I love Kanye, so I'm really, really excited to go to the Kanye West concert with my wife. What the hell are you doing in there? Fawn always hides underneath the bookshelf when she gets scared. And, and there's no one even around her. The closest person is Churro. Did you scare her, Churro? Wouldn't you be scared? <laughs> of what? Of my face? Yeah. yeah. Hey, no wonder. Up? Damn, scared. she's fucking scared. Alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pause, you had to pause, you know? See you later. Alligator. Alligator. So we're on our way to the Kanye concert. We grabbed a quick bite to eat. And I think we're about to be late. But Tiff is really adamant about us coming inside, even though we told her to come outside. So that makes me think that she has a surprise or something. So I wanted to bring you guys in on this and uh, we'll see what's going on, see if I'm right or not. They're already peeking out the window. Are they? Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew, knew it, it too because I saw your body. You what? Okay, no, you tested. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what anyone point. knows. Like, what's so important? We're gonna be late. I know. Hurry. We're gonna hurry. be late. Hurry. Come on. Hurry. We're gonna be so late. We're gonna see this in your room. Is that okay? We're gonna be late. <laughs> She's already in there. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Let's watch it. Watch Whoa, what? Oh, I never seen a fawn do that before. That's crazy. Oh, she, that's how she comes in and out every day. Really? Do you want the rest? What's going on? Do you want the rest? Sure a rough cut. Oh, they're gonna show us a rough cut of the wedding video. Duh. No, we'll watch it. And then you guys will watch it on the channel anyways. All right, so whatever. All right, no. so, so what happened after we turned off the camera is uh, pretty much Casey showed us our wedding video and it made me cry. It made us cry, both of us cried because it was so good. And I can't wait to share with you guys. But thank you so much, Case. You're welcome. No, and so thanks good. for the baby bear blanket. So tip. cute. <laughs> You're welcome. I can't wait to see your baby oh snuggles my God. up in there. I was so excited to hurry up and pop one out. <laughs> or the closest thing we could do now is Gio just puts her period in there and then I just jack <laughs> off into it. And then we just combine yeah. it in there. I thought you were going to say you could put Brady in it or something. Like one of your... Your, your furry <laughs> That makes more sense probably. <laughs> 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 and now we're off to the Kanye concert. Woo! Yay! You're not Woo! excited? Yeah, yeah, right. You just moved the camera, so then I was like, okay. Right. Mm. 
Are you excited to go to the Kanye concert? Hell yeah. How did you like the concert? I liked it. I wish it was longer, but I like even though I knew what I was going into, like it literally said all he's doing is his 808 and Heartbreak album. I was still hoping for at least one song from another album, but he Like which song? Um anything. Like anything. Like the way the, the everyone was dressed, I was expecting like G sus walks or something. Oh yeah. I could but, see that happening. Yeah, nothing, nothing happened. And like he went in the order of like his album and then um, it ended. And he didn't even like talk to us. Usually he'll be like, what up ballet? I want a buddy, 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 buddy. And then like they'll say, all right, good night. But nothing. Interesting. How did you guys like it? We have a, uh, a theory that, cause so he has a new fashion line. Yes. And they all look like Jedi's or they all look like they're from Hunger Games. That's, and that's true. exactly what he was wearing. And I feel like it was just all one big fashion show. Yeah, to promote his new line? Yeah. I don't know who's gonna buy their clothes, but yeah, I think it's promotion. Mm. That's true. That's that was a the good first time I had ever done, I had ever heard the entire album. Yeah. And it was cool because I got to hear it live. So it was pretty interesting. It was pretty cool. When um, you listen to albums, do you like listening to it in the order that the artist wants you to, or do you pick and choose like the hit songs or whatever? No, I like to listen to it in the order because I know there was a lot of thought put into it. Yeah. Like, in this specific order that they want us to hear it. So every time I listen to an album, I definitely, I don't put um, shuffle. I always listen to it in order. Yeah. So it's pretty cool to, to actually witness the entire album being performed in front of my eyes, the whole thing, it's pretty cool. When I was younger, I used to pick and choose like the hit song or the most popular song. And then later on when I made my first album, Special Feelings for JK, and we realized that we put, well, I realized that we put a lot of thought into placing the song order and trying to create a journey. Mm -hmm. Then from then on, I, I listen to album the way the artist intends to. Yeah, which I have that album. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we have a special feelings album oh, right yeah, now. Oh yeah, that's we true. Just bump that. I thought the concert was pretty cool. Uh, Kanye brought out Kid Cudi, and then uh, they brought out uh, Young Jeezy for one track. And then uh, that's about it. But uh, yeah, that was my first Kanye concert. And based off of all his performances online and my favorite album, well, my favorite album isn't really a real album. It's the VH1 Storytellers album. So it's kind of a compilation of a bunch of albums. But that's the album where like I listen to every song and sometimes I can listen to the album and I can just cry because there's so much uh, emotion in that. And I was hoping that he was gonna do something on a grander scale, like Casey was also saying earlier. But um, overall, I had a really fun time and it was an awesome wedding present from Tiff and Casey. And uh, hopefully I'll 
see another Kanye concert sometime soon. But now we're just hungry, so I want to eat something. <laughs> No one asked you to dance, Gina. I'm not dancing. No one asked you. Stop moving. No one.